Shopping for an e-bike? The juiced Rip Current S just might be the answer for you. Stay tuned. Welcome to the channel. I'm Liz. And I'm Paul. And these are exciting times to push past fear, build confidence, and live amazing. And you will absolutely live amazing if you have the right e-bike. And we know how challenging it can be right now to shop for them. A lot of them are not available in stores. There is an e-bike shortage. So we actually made an e-bike shopping video that we'll link to above Paul's head that will help you in general shopping. And we're excited about the Juiced Rip Current because if you're looking for an all-around e-bike, this bike is it. It'll go on the street, it will go on the trail, even on the beach. It's just a good all-around bike. And we happen to be full-time RVers and it's just a great fit for this lifestyle. It really is. I mean, the wide tires gives you that ability to go on even softer trails. So tell us about the Rip Current. Let's just go right, right into it. Well, it's a full-size e-bike with front air suspension and four inch wide fat tires by Kenda. It has a powerful 750 watt hub drive motor with six levels of pedal assist. It has a nine speed cassette on the rear wheel and a single chain ring up front. It comes standard with a kickstand, fenders, headlight, taillight, cargo rack, and a bell. There are two versions available of the Rip Current, the base model with a 13 amp hour battery, and the upgraded model, which is the Rip Current S, which has a 19.2 amp hour battery. The one we're reviewing has the bigger battery, the 19.2 amp hour. And what that number means, if you're not familiar with it, the bigger that number is, the more range you have. How far can you go on the smaller battery? Probably, realistically, 30 miles, 30 to maybe squeeze out 40 miles. Yeah, it depends, I guess, on how much you're working. Now, know this, if you're new to e-bikes, 30 miles is not that far. Okay, so the smaller battery is a 30 mile range, roughly, depending again on how, how heavy you are, how hard you work. Yeah. So the bigger battery, how far? They say 70 plus. I would say 60, a little over 60 miles would be a real world number. Mm -hmm. okay. I mean, you could probably get more, but in fact, I know you could get more. If they you... Comfortably 60 miles yeah, on the bigger yeah. batteries. So. I, wouldn't, I wouldn't think twice about, about if I had a 60 mile ride to do um, I, and I had a fully charged battery, I, know, I would know that I could do that. All right, so it's got the 750 watt motor, so that's really good. It has a, a big battery option. There is a throttle, a thumb throttle. Oh, which the, is much better than the twist throttle. I think so. Yeah. So who is this bike for? We mentioned the RV life, but if you're sitting at home and you're looking for an e-bike, why would you get this e-bike? If you wanted to ride on trails, uh, this bike would be much better suited for that. I and then think. what if I want to use it on the street? It's fine on the road, right? It's fine, yeah. Yeah, with, with as much tire on the ground as you've got with that four inch tire, you know, you're going to get a little more rolling resistance means that you're going to, you're going to give up some top speed, but you know, not everybody's as, as crazy as I am about going fast. <laughs> so if I'm biking all day and then I'm tired, I can just put it on race and go on home. Alike. I won't do much pedaling or I'll be pedaling, but not working that well, hard. If, if you're in the pedal assist mode, you have to pedal to get to move. If you wanted to just go along for the ride, you just use the throttle. Okay. Okay. Now the throttle is limited to 20 miles an hour. Mm -hmm. You can go much faster in, in the pedal assist mode. Okay, for this test, we're going to stay in the same gear, which is the ninth gear, the highest gear available. And I'm going to do my best to maintain the same effort in pedaling. I'm very comfortable at, at 16 miles an hour. So we're going to level one, the same effort is allowing us to do a very comfortable 18 miles per hour. Level two, 20 miles an hour. You could do this all day long. Actually, I see I'm doing 21. That's a very good pace for a bicycle. Level three. I'm thinking 23 is gonna be the comfortable window, yep. Now we're into the sport mode. 
S for sport. <clears throat> And 26 is the speed we're gonna get. I could go faster, but I wanna maintain that same effort. So at that effort that it took me to do 16 miles per hour in eco mode, I'm doing 26 miles an hour in sport. And let's go to the highest assist. We got 30. Now what are the downsides then? Are there any downsides to this bike? Well it's heavy. It's 75 pounds. That might be a detractor for some folks. I don't think you're gonna find a fat tire bike full much, size. Full size much lighter than that. Yeah and you know this brings up the point because if you're looking at getting a full size bike versus folding there are some compromises with a folding bike and that is stability because the the wheels are smaller. The rip current has 26 by four tires. That's pretty much the standard size for, for fat tire bikes. There is a folding bike, it has 20 inch by four. And Absolutely. that six inches makes a huge difference in the way it feels when you're riding it. All right, so that's a, that leads into this question. So who is the juiced rip current not for? Somebody that just wants to ride on the street and wants to go fast. Like a commuter bike. Like, like you're a commuter commuting bike. to and from yeah. work. So if you're commuting, what bike would you suggest? I would be on my cross current. And this is actually why we're talking about Juiced. Paul has two years experience with Juiced. We did a thousand mile review. Now you probably have 15, 1600 miles. Yeah, the yeah. Juiced Cross Current X, we have a link over Paul's head. So if you want a commuter bike, you want to go fast, that's the bike. Yep. Now one of the reasons I like Juiced is because, well, one, they're a U.S. company. They're based in San Diego area. They are very responsive to the customers. I had a battery problem with my bike. They have since redesigned the connection and I know they fixed it because I have a, a like I said, I have the cross current. The batteries look identical, but the old battery will not fit the new rip current because they changed the connector. So one of the things if you're shopping for an e-bike is if you're a couple, it's really important to buy a matching pair of e-bikes. And why is that? <laughs> because I'm always waiting for you. <laughs> because there's so many different variables on an e-bike. So if you buy different e-bikes, they're going to have different top speeds for about the same effort. They're going to have a different range and they're also going to have a different specialty. So for example, in our case, I have an, an, an e-bike that likes to do trails so I can go places he can't go. My top speed isn't as high as his, my range isn't as high as his, so he has to slow down. And even riding the cross current X and the rip current, there were differences in that the cross current is a commuter bike, so therefore it wanted to go faster. Mm -hmm. And the person riding the rip current had to you know, work a little harder to keep up. Yeah, or slow down. If you're looking at getting two bikes, yeah, make sure that they're compatible matching. with one another. Get matching sets. So this bike comes in three sizes, uh, a medium, a large, and an extra large. And another thing now to think about is if you're getting an e-bike is you probably need a new bike rack because a traditional bike rack will not handle the weight. Right. Yeah. 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 And we recommend a locking bike rack. We'll, we'll put the one that we have in the links, it actually locks the bike on because e-bikes are hot and they can be stolen. I actually had an e-bike stolen. After that theft, we bought a hardened linked chain and that's what we used to lock it up with. And this chain cannot be cut with bolt cutters. Mm -hmm. You could certainly cut it with a angle grinder and a four inch metal cutting disc. There's no way to prevent a, a theft 100% of the time. And then another thing as far as transporting your bike, um, people ask us about this, is that we have a hitch on the front of our vehicle. And talk a little bit about the, what you had to buy and what you had to do to make that happen. Yeah, well, most trucks, um, I think they And probably, vans. And vans, yeah. I think they make receiver hitches that fit under the front of your, of your vehicle. And that's what I did. I, I bought a receiver hitch for our 2500 Silverado. Um, it was a very simple install. I actually did it uh, laying on the ground in an RV park in, in South Dakota. No drilling. Yep. It's just bolting it's bolt on. on. It's yep. made specifically for yep. your vehicle, and then we bought a bike rack for it. And this may be a good solution for you. Now, here's the best part. 
If you buy a Juiced, you can use a discount code that is here in the video for $100 off for one bike and $250 off for a pair. That's right, any Juiced bike. So one bike, use Liz 100. Two bikes, use Liz 250. So let us know in the comments section below how you like your Juiced bike. Yeah, we'd love to hear from you and we hope to see you out there on the bike trail. That would be fun. Thanks for watching.